welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos today we are going to do a first impression of a foundation that I'm uh, that I heard a lot about and it's a foundation I think every youtuber has or has tried so I'm very excited that I'm going to be one of those and hopefully I will love it as much as the other youtubers or people that use that foundation and I'm talking about this Elegor Pro Coverage uh, foundation now this was a little bit harder for me to get in Sweden but I finally found the place where I can buy it, order it and I wasn't sure which color I would order because so I, I know I saw videos with people trying it uh, and say that it's maybe too dark or to some other thought that it was too light so I really didn't know what to expect so I just take, took a chance and ordered one and I ordered this in um, nude beige now I did do a swatch with this on my just on my hand and I found it a little bit too dark for me so I tried to order the white foundation just to mix those two together but it was out of stock so I had to wait for it and I got it today so I have it right here and I'm going to mix these two together to find as close to find the right color for me and uh, I heard so many good things about this foundation and I'm very excited to try it myself well I'm going to use of course a sponge for applying it I'm going to use that for applying my foundation so um, well, let's start so first I'm going to apply this e.l.f. primer and I don't know, I don't really like this primer, I don't see, I don't find it as good as my other primers that I use, but it's an okay primer. So now my primer is on and uh, let's zoom you in guys. So it comes in a pump and I really like that. It's not too liquidy but if you can see it's really not my color oh. so let's mix some of these two I think I should I don't know how much I should apply. Let's see if it does work. Look. But maybe right now it's too light. Well. <laughs> it is too light right now. Let's take more of this foundation. Let's try this. Let's see what it gets us. I had a little too much foundation on my hand right now. Not bad. Still maybe not the right color for me, but I can make it work, why not? But I think I have a little, a little bit too much foundation. It looks kind of orange. <laughs> But I think it looks kind of orange and or olive. Well, if I like this foundation, I will definitely order another more. looks great 
really it covered a lot of my breakouts and redness on my face but I think it looks kind of a little bit too orange or too olive or something I don't know but from distance it looks okay but close it looks the coverage looks good the foundation it, re it is really good just the wrong wrong color well I have to say that I really like this foundation I do like the coverage it's not the full coverage but it's very good coverage I definitely can build it up I think it looks a little bit shiny but I do like it when it's not all matte sometimes that depends on my mood but right now I do like it and maybe we setting powder with it would look better I will put concealer and uh, setting powder on just to see how it looks when the rest of the face makeup is on so welcome back now my whole look now is finished and I have to say that I really love this foundation I do like how it, it, it easy to apply it I do like how it really makes my skin looking very fresh and nice it's not it's buildable it's not full coverage I had to put some more on it to get that coverage that I do like and accept on my face but I'm not really happy with this color I still think it's kind of it looks kind of weird on me so I'm definitely going to buy another and try try it or I'm going to mix more of this one this white or less we'll see I will experiment I don't just want to throw this away I will try to use it uh, but I will definitely buy other colors to see if I can get a better match of course I do like how it looks as finished look and it does get less shiny when I've applied my powder on or my setting powder just to took away some of that shyness or like all oiliness so if I pronounce that right but I do like it I really really like how it's easy to put the other makeup on my contouring my blush my highlighter it does look very nice and now I understand why everybody else that I watched videos uh, loves this foundation too if you want to know what eyeshadows and how I did this makeup look you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you already have it because I'm going to put that video up I already filmed it I just didn't want to include it in this video because it can get kind of too long but I really really like this look and I really really like this foundation and it doesn't feel sticky it feels nice not too heavy at all it feels like I don't have any foundation on on my face and I'm very surprised because I put a lot of the foundation a lot of it on my face and it doesn't feel like that really it doesn't feel like that I can touch my face and don't get greasy, greasy or think uh, feels weird I really really do like it <laughs> I still think it looks kind of off with this color but I don't know what do you think do you think it matches my skin or don't please t let me know uh, I want to know how you feel and how you think when you watch me right now uh, so let's zoom in guys so you can see so as you can see it looks very nice my nose is a little bit dry so it does look a little bit patchy here but don't bother me at all I really really like how it looks so thank you for watching and see you soon bye